baby. <laughs> Special moment indeed. I can't even explain how emotional this is. I've watched Chad for years, but to be there and you root for him, but you know he'll bump you. This is a great moment just to make him and have dad make it into. <laughs> You're a pretty now. Thank you. John's dream of the future was now. Five weeks later, the dream turned into a nightmare when Eric Medlin died as the result of an accident during testing. The accident came one day after a final career round win against his boss and mentor. Eric Medlin was 33. The loss of the son he never had was devastating to force. I always joked on my TV show, the monster was out there. Well, he, he jumped right in the front seat with Eric. He was the lead guy to my next generation of drivers. I've only met a few in my lifetime that just love to drive a race car that much that he would drive for free. It's not about money. He just loved it. The team sat out the Houston race but returned in Las Vegas still reeling from an unthinkable loss. And John failed to qualify for the first time since 1987. And Beckman bumps John Force out. The streak, 395, and it ends there. They still love John Force. But Force's son-in-law, Robert Height, carried the torch for Team Force all the way to an emotional winner's circle. I'm not going to mention any sponsors today because Eric used to do that for everybody enough anyway. But I want to tell you about the people I work with, John Force, Eric Medlin. When I won Indy last year, I got back and John kept saying, you won Indy, all right. He says, I hope someday Eric can win Indy. And then, you know what? Eric did more than win Indy. He made everyone around him happy and smile. That's a true champion. Adding to an already emotional season, John Watt's daughter Ashley at times struggled taming the 7,000 horsepower monster. All pretty amped up there for a while, John, but reality's kind of starting to set in. You feeling okay? Uh, I, I feel good. I'm glad that she's okay. And this can be a learning experience for her, but I love that kid. I can see it in her eyes. She wants to race. I know her mom and her sisters are okay, and tell her daughter, her sister Adria at home, she's fine, Adria, and Autumn, she's okay. And uh... John Forrest looks like he is terribly distressed by that moment. A lot of pressure on that man. John himself struggled, scoring a meager two round wins through the first 10 races. His fight for a 15th championship would most certainly have to wait until next year. Or would it? Suddenly, on a July Sunday in Bristol, Tennessee, things began to turn around. trophy. I'm going to give it to his dad. Kid was the greatest driver all hard of all time. I just loved him and, and like he'd say today, Force, quit your whining and get out there and hurt some feelings. Eric Mellon, I know you're watching me. You beat up the lead. We got our trophy. Force was reborn, and so were his once distant championship hopes. He would go to the final in four of the next five races, winning two and clinching a spot in the countdown to the championship. My hot rod starting to go to be all A to B, starting to learn how to drive again. And it's just been a great day. Look at my tail end kit, right? We're in the chase. The countdown of the championship began at the biggest race of the year in Indianapolis, the Mac Tools U.S. Nationals. But before any cars hit the track, Team Force took time to remember their fallen friend, Eric Medlin. John Medlin unveiled a life-size bronze statue of his late son that stands outside a brand new facility in Brownsburg, Indiana. The building houses the Eric Medlin Project, a museum celebrating Medlin's life as well as serving as a research and development center to initiate and implement safety innovations in drag racing. Uh, we're taking the data that we're acquiring as we run the cars down the racetrack. We're evaluating what happened to Eric and his crash, and we're going to turn that into a life-saving circumstance for the drivers in the future. Something has to come out of the loss of Eric Medlin, and if we can save thousands in the course of the next hundred years, well then we've done something good. At the race, Force further honored Medlin by carrying Eric's team colors from his six career wins. However, Force's championship hope suffered a major setback as he failed to qualify at the U.S. Nationals for the first time since 1984. 
It's tough. This is a big race. This is what you want to be a part of it. Like I said, you got to earn the right to be in this race. And I got 14 championships. I got nothing to be ashamed of. But I'm, I'm going after 15. Don't think we're not. Forrest plummeted from third to sixth in the points and was once again considered a long shot. Two races later at Dallas, Forrest was in seventh place and out to prove the naysayers wrong. He had just watched his daughter Ashley advance to the semifinals, and if he could get past Kenny Bernstein, it would set up a potential father-daughter battle in the finals. Force, still racing with Eric Medlin's paint scheme, scored the round win and moved into the coveted fourth spot in the countdown, but not without paying a major price. Well, John was a little late. There's a problem with his car. He comes across. He hits Bernstein. Both cars continue on. John's car is torn well up. And there is where the seat is back in behind the wheels. This is frightening. Yeah, you hate to see that. I mean, especially all that damage. Uh, God, all we can hope is that John's okay. 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 It was the most severe crash of Force's storied career as he suffered a dislocated wrist, a broken ankle, a deep cut in his right knee, several broken fingers and toes. He's talking, but and I told him I was there and Ashley's there and he's called for Robert, so I think his legs are, I don't know, maybe, maybe his legs are broken and he looks a little bloody everywhere. Interestingly, it was another Force protege and former teammate, Tony Pedregon, who went on to win that Dallas race. I'm going to try to get through this one. Uh, it's a big day. Anytime the Pentagon brothers can get in the final, uh, I get a little emotional because uh, I know John's going to be okay, but uh, I'm going to stick around town. It's probably the first time everybody, anybody's ever dedicated, uh, dedicated a trophy to him, but uh, I'm going to stay in town. I'm going to go see my friend if they'll let me in there. Hope he's okay. Ironically, when Tony Pedregon left John Force Racing to start his own team, Eric Medlin filled the vacated seat. Force credits the safety changes his team and John Medlin instituted following the death of Eric Medlin for saving Force's life. However, for the time being, Force is relegated to the role of cheerleader, rooting for his son-in-law Robert Hyde to take home the 16th championship for John Force Racing. It would be the perfect end to a heart-wrenching season and a trophy earned by everyone at John Force Racing, including Eric Medlin.